Hi everybody, David Bound here of Bound Golf Academy and welcome to this video featuring Robert Rock. Now Robert is recognised on the tour of having a very very good golf swing and uh, is a very very good ball striker so I thought it would be interesting to have a look at Robert and we're just going to run through this in stages so we're looking at his address which we would call P1 and the first thing I'm just going to highlight here is the way Robert has his the alignment of his feet here. You can see his right foot is turned out quite a bit and his left foot is turned out quite a bit. Now this would really encourage his uh, hips to probably turn a little bit more freely on his backswing and through swing. The other thing I notice here is, is on the grip his right hand and his left hand there are turned a little more to the right than usual um, and then what I'm going to do here is just put a line from the ball straight up just to give us a reference point and here we're just going to put a circle on his head here okay so what I noticed straight away is, is Robert's got a great coordination with his upper body, his arms, as the club starts back during his golf swing. And as we just gently start him back, you can just see how coordinated that is. There's no snatching back of the club. His upper body is starting to move. And the triangle of his arms here are very good. Oh, just come out of that one. And the triangle here of his arms and the club and his chest really coordinated. And as he swings back, we get him position to P2 which means club is parallel to the ground and I'm just going to put a, a line in here of how far where that club head is when it's at P2 parallel to the ground you can see how well <coughs> he has moved away from the ball and how well his head is uh, a stationary head it's really centered here between his feet so he's looking very good, very balanced, very much in control. As we take him up to P3, with left arm, we'd call that parallel to the ground. You can see here the angle between the shaft and his left arm. Now, Robert's just done a beautiful hinging of the wrist there's no sudden snatching um, hinging of the wrist very quickly it's just a gradual gradual progression as he's gone up to the top of the backswing and that's a very good thing for all you golfers out there to copy as we go up P4 top of the backswing you can see here now uh, he's remained beautifully centered over the ball. He hasn't swayed off to the right. He hasn't moved off to the left here. So he's really got a good shoulder turn. Nice extension of his arms here. It looks very much under control. Club face might, perhaps you'd say, is a little bit closed here. But um, that is his choice. Now, the crucial element of the downswing is, is the starting down. And what I want you to have a good look at here is how Robert's left knee moves across. And we're just going to put a line in here. Gap between his right knee and his left knee. And as he starts to move, you can see how that left knee moving across his weight is moving forwards onto that left side 
if we just go back you can see how the left knee on this red line here it's a little bit reminiscent of Sam Sneed how that left knee widens and he squats and gets very good power here he's really sort of sinking down into the ground there you can just see here he just lost a little bit of height but he's got great angle here in his shoulders and his arms and the shaft so really looking powerful and that's the key for all you amateurs out there unwinding the lower half first and then letting the upper body and the arms follow most of you want to throw that club head at the ball to generate speed too soon so you can see how his head is nicely centered and how much he's moving on to his left side he's also as I said getting a little bit of a squat there now as we go forward to P5, left arm parallel to the ground, the lower work is really the lower half has really worked, sorry, and the upper half is following. And you can see how the left arm and that shaft angle is retained. As we come down to P6, it's a club head parallel back to the ground here you can see my original yellow line here on his backswing and now we can see how much more inside that original circle he is on the downswing <clears throat> purely by shifting his weight across and retaining the angles most amateurs would have the club head back on that yellow line and consequently they're going to hit the ground back here by the right foot or they, then their club is going to be rising up at the ball and you top it or thin it. Now we come down to P7, impact. And we've got him very good there, impact. Just clear a couple of these lines out of the way. We can see here how he's got his left arm and his wrists, and you can see the angle of the shaft there. He even got his right wrist just forward and his left arm in a really solid position there. As we come through, impact. He's continuing to rotate through. His arms aren't flying away down to the target. They're rotating through. He's keeping his arms and his chest working through the ball nicely. So P8, shaft parallel to the ground. Hell's head is still maintained. His arms are straight. And you can see his right foot here. How that's nicely moving in. He hasn't thrown his right hip forward and that right knee's kicking in, it's getting dragged in. P9, so we're going to go up here, right arm is parallel to the ground. You can see how his body is really working through. And his pivot, his arms are just turning beautifully around the centre there. And then we're going to move through into his finish. What a good goal swing. He was hitting a three, three wood here on the par five and he hit a beautiful shot down the middle of the fairway. It requires probably a, a slight draw as the ball runs down to the left hand side there. But great balance, very, very good golf swing. If I uh, just run him back to where he was at address, And we're just going to put that line in there. That was his address. P1, and then we're going to bring him down 
to P7, you can see how he's getting that weight forwards, really driving in. His right wrist still bent, gradually releasing into impact. And you can see his hands here are more forward than at address. His weight has moved forward, but his head has stayed nice and centered. Really, really good solid golf swing. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed uh, my look at Robert Rock. And if you'd like to view more slow motion swings of the best players in the world, you can subscribe to my golf channel, David Bound PGA, on YouTube. You can also visit my website at www.boundgolf.com to gain further information. And if you have any comments, you can please go to my YouTube channel and I will do my best to answer any questions you may have. And if you'd like to have your own swing analyze, go to my online swing analysis and contact me at david at Bound Golf. Anyway, thanks for watching.